Guys, let's just um, focus right now on sport. Of course, we're hit by a huge blow um, the weekend, of course, coming from the news from um, Enugu Rangers, where we had one of Enugu Rangers player, um, some of the players who were in an accident over there and, of course, lost your life. Aimba released a statement to also share their condolences over there for the player, talking about the captain of the side, Ifine George, over there. Now, let's give you a tribute to him. And when we come back, we'll be talking about what's really hitting the MPFL at this time. We'll talk about all the best we're having from Ifine George over there. Now, of course, um, he was confirmed dead following his involvement in a car crash on Sunday morning. Now, it was later confirmed that George's friend and Rangers teammate, Emmanuel Obu, also passed away in a collision there. We had seen a tanker fall on his vehicle over there. And this, everyone on social media talking about this, that the reason why we're having all this, because the players are not involved in any activity right now. Um, the COVID-19 has really halted a lot of things, causing a lot in the MPFL right now, talking about our local leagues. Well, um, first of all, he's on holiday. Um, apart from the break, Rangers told the players you can go and spend time with your family yeah. on holiday. Yeah, and that's why I think he was set to be coming to Lagos. The accident mm -hmm. was at the Bonicha, um, Agbo, Benin Road. That's where it happened. Although we are not sure if it was very early in the morning yeah. or late or something, but we are sure about the time. Yeah. Um, Sunday, the road safety official around said he wasn't there, but from the account he got, mm -hmm. and they ran into a truck, uh, a standstill truck, and they all three died on the spot because they had another friend there. But yeah. he still raised lots of questions. Now, in the space of about a month, You're three NPFL players NPFL have players. died. And like people say, avoidable death. Yeah. It, uh, no death is good. No death is better to come at any time. Uh, I was telling Kenny, if I enjoy one of the few NPFL players I know very well that even mm -hmm. when you're sleeping, you are sure it's one of the bright scorers we have. He was, I think, Ranger's top scorers on the continent. Good mm -hmm. player. Um, bright future ahead of him. And these guys are probably the breadwinners of their family if yeah. they are not married with kids. Um, it's a sad loss and uh, it still brings back the question of all the players we have, is there anything called like insurance or anything on ground? Life because insurance and Yes, them. it's not, it can't bring back the dead. Yeah. But one thing is, if a player from a family is dying at least, is there Somebody anything on ground for, for the family? For, for or those who, you know, yes, maybe the wife or the yeah. children. Now, my, my angle to this story is, um, okay. Years back, there was a, a musician. Let me mention his Dagrin. name, Dagrin, okay. who died from running under a steel truck, yeah. a truck that was parked, or in local parlance, a trailer okay. that was parked on the road. Now, Infine Infine went through this. Uh, Infine George, George went through the same thing. God forbid, Infine Infine. Now, are we doing more? Are we doing enough? Okay. People questioned. They agree then saying it was he tipsy, drunk, he, was he got really drunk. Bad, yeah. If at 2 a.m. Right. I'm applying a road that I know is an express, okay. like we call it here, I should be on top speed, not mm -hmm. minding. Now, a, a parked truck, what is the caution for mm -hmm. oncoming cars to know there is a parked mm -hmm. truck there? How would you park a truck on an highway? This is what we are saying. See, these guys, I don't... I, I, they might have their own fault, maybe they are careless and all, but this truck, does it have a caution to show? You see, we all travel. We know what we see. Sometimes you have to pat your driver on the back to tell him that he did well in that situation because he passed through a truck that there is no sign to show that you no can see. Sign. And this truck is, is parked almost half on the road. Okay. No caution, no uh, uh, security operatives, no for anybody to let you know there is a diversion and all. And we all just pass it every day. It is come. See, we're talking of if I judge now. In one or two weeks, this whole thing will pass and the same activity we'll will continue. Okay. I questioned the uh, Nigerian police force that parked the truck that the green went on that. It was parked from evening till the next morning. You know this is an highway. We shouldn't do this. Life should be more important to us. This, these guys are moving on an highway. You don't move like you're moving on the street on an highway. You go on top speed. A lot of questions should be asked. A lot of our activities, I think sometimes we're talking about COVID-19 and how sometimes we don't even value our own lives in Nigeria. Talk more of others. So we all do 
a lot of money activities, not minding what could result from it. From we need to ask truck, a lot of questions. The, the truck or the accident happened towards the left side of that picture, and any bad car or anything should be on the right. Well, Next part right of the road. the road. But, but let, let's look at something now. What's the LMC doing um, concerning this? We've lost three right, right now. Of course. What are they doing concerning this? Have they been proactive? What have they done? What have they put in place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right you know, there was this question. I, I, I think, I can't remember if it was Bolu that I asked first then. I had to second or I asked first. And now, we saw the NFF president. We saw the match come. We saw the LMC um, executive checking ambulances at the stadium, health management. Now, we asked the question then, the security at the stadium, who is checking that one? They said at least 50 security operatives on, uh, on ground on every match day at every stadium. Nobody's checking that until the day it needs to yeah. work and it's not available. They will now sanction either the team or whatever, saying they don't have 50 operatives. Nobody, until something happens, you'll find us attacking that and you leaving mean, the whole... Now this has really happened now, do you think it's, it should be made compulsory for every single NPFL player to be put on the live insurance? Yeah, it's very, very key. Do you there. know one thing is certain, and it's part of the thing we forget, players can't play forever. Yes. No matter when um, they started something in NBA, for example, that... Um, I think I can't remember the percentage, maybe fifteen percent or so of their salary, they take it out. Okay. Then when you retire, they don't even give it to you until after five years. Believe okay. you, after five years, some of those players go bankrupt. Yes. That's right. people that earn millions, some of them billions throughout their career. It means sometimes they are, they have to start up different programs for the basketball players, okay. financial programs and everything. Okay. Sometimes we need to do more. It, it's beyond playing football. It is not everyone that will have someone to talk to them. A young guy that earns millions. Mm. Sometimes they, need, they want to live yeah. a flamboyant life. You are the one that has to set up a plan for them. Because the truth is, if everybody starts playing football and when they retire, nothing happens. Mm. So many persons will lose interest. But when you know that Bolu play football at the end, one of the programs we went through helped his career. Kenny did the same thing. He did the same thing. Yeah. I'll be inspired to want to. I think LMC need to step up, set up different programs. Not everybody will be interested, definitely. Okay. Not everyone will learn. Some should be composed. At least let's know it is on ground. Okay. They, they, how can you even say they should take out some things from salary when some salaries some are salaries never stable? Are paid, yeah? So, how do you. How do I you think this is a, this is a call to um, the LMC over there to put these things in place. 